Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to run programs or scripts automatically using Windows Task Scheduler. So what we're going to do is show you how to set this up and so you can run any sort of script or program from there and it, you can set it up to uh, all your settings that you want it to run at times and days and how many times. So we're going to be taking a look at uh, the clearing the cache on a regular basis. This is a very common thing that people like to do but you might want to use other applications or other scripts and you can do uh, by using this same method. So if you're watching this video and thinking it's just for this application, it's not. You can use this for uh, PowerShell scripts, batch files, or even programs or any program that you'd want, as long as you can get it working in Task Scheduler. So I'll show you how to do it. So first off, RAM map is uh, from uh, Sys Internals, which is a very, very powerful tool. Now, if you click on this file here and empty the standby list, this is going to empty uh, the cached memory inside here. And this is great for people that are running low end systems or they like gaming and they want to keep cleaning or clearing the built up cache. Let's take a look at the circled areas here. So you can see the cache here is 2.5 gigabytes. And if I open up the resources here for resource monitor and go to memory and take a look here, you'll see it's called standby. This is the memory that is cached. And to clear this, you'd have to either restart the PC, but you can use a RAM map to clear it. So this is doing it manually. I've got them all open here and I'm going to run the program and clear it and you'll see it all being cleared. Now this is doing it manually, but if you want to see it done automatically i'll show you that after this so let me just show you how to clear this you'll see it drop all the way down and it will empty the cache without restarting the pc and there we go it's now emptied the cache out and we've now gone right away down on both of these here and this is exactly what you want uh, to clear the cache uh, your ram cache on your pc and this is on the windows 11 system works with windows 10 and other versions of windows as well now what we're going to do is take a look at how to do this automatically using the empty standby list program you can use task scheduler to set this up and i'll use this as an example so you can see how it empties uh, the ram cache automatically for us by using this method so i've got it downloaded on my desktop here i'm going to open up file explorer here and go into the c drive here and going to create a folder inside here new folder and i'm going to call this uh, clear cache you can call it whatever you like uh, empty cache, clear cache, uh, whatever you want to call your folder. But inside this folder, it's empty right now. I'm going to put that little program and we're going to drop it inside here. Now you can drop it inside the System32 folder if you want to, uh, but I'm just going to leave it inside here. Now we need to right click on the program and go to properties. Inside this window, we're going to go to uh, compatibility. In the compatibility tab, we can then change the setting here so the setting we want to use here is run as administrator so the program will run as administrator and it have full permissions to do what it wants to do here so let's go ahead and put the check mark in run as administrator and we can apply this and okay this so once we do this the program when it needs permission it will automatically give it uh, admin rights and that's because it's a system file and it's a system task that we're making it do so let's go ahead and uh, now drop this down and from here, what we're going to do is go down to the search. Inside the search area, we're going to type in here task scheduler. And from here, we can click on this and this will open up the application. This is the application here. Let me expand this to a larger size so you can see it. Create a new task. And inside the name, you can call this whatever you like. You can call it uh, empty cache, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to call this empty cache. Inside the description, you can give it a name called empty cache, same thing. And once we've got these two done, we can go down to where it says uh, change users or groups. Inside here, we need to go to the advanced tab because we need to add in our system inside here so it knows what to do. So let's go ahead and click on the advanced tab here and uh, go to the find new. And then we're going to look for system. This is the one here. So this will give it permissions uh, to run. And we can now see there's a line underneath this. And we can now click on OK. Click OK. 
before we finish this, make sure the configure for Windows 10 and run with the highest privilege. We want to make sure that is like so. Now, before you click OK, go to triggers and we need to set up triggers first. Now we can create a new trigger. This will open up the new trigger window here. So what we need to do is leave it as one time and the start will be on the date that you want to start it and you can see the time there. Next, we need to go uh, inside here where it says repeat task every and it will give you a time, for instance, every hour. But if you want this to run more frequently, you can do it as much as every five minutes. And this will be, uh, you know, running this task every five minutes. I'm going to set this to 15 minutes here, but if you want it shorter, you can do and set this to five minutes or wherever you want to uh, set it at. Next, we can uh, go here and set it for one day duration, or we can have it to run indefinitely. This means it will never run out. It will continue to run and it will continue to do uh, this task for us. So set this to whatever you want to do. So I'm going to set this indefinitely. And with that done, we can leave this as enabled. I'm going to click OK here and then we need to go to actions and we need to create an action. So create a new action by clicking new inside here. You should see uh, start a program. And again, this is uh, to start this program that we're doing. And what we need to do here is select our program inside our list. So let's go to our clear cache inside here. Select the program itself. Click open. And now we've got the program selected. All we need to do here is click OK. But if you can see here, uh, there's another area here which you can add in a script. I'll show you that in another video. And you've got conditions which are pretty much the same. But if you do want to make changes, you can do here. But I'm leaving these as default. And the same thing goes for settings as well. We don't need to change any of the conditions or settings on here. Now, we can leave the conditions and settings as default. I don't need to change these. But if you do, you can have a look at them and make changes if you wish. And uh, once you're happy with this, we can click on OK. So let's click OK. And that's now done. So let's expand this and we can see... Uh, what we've just created here. So if we go to the actual task schedule library, you can now see that we do have an empty cache on here and it is now set exactly how we want it. So you can see if I expand this, you'll be able to see what time it's next going to run. And because we've got it set to every five minutes, you should be able to see this running here. So you can see it's set to run at this time. And this will clear out uh, the RAM cache for us automatically every 15 minutes it will run and clear it for us very very simple and easy to do so that's basically how you can uh, use the task scheduler to run your scripts and applications and programs uh, to run automatically so let me quickly show you how this works so you can see it does work now rather than wait 15 minutes i'm going to click on this run here and it will run it automatically and you can see it's cleared that cache for us automatically here and it will run every 15 minutes. So from now on, it's going to run. And it will change the time up the top to tell you uh, it's just run. And the next time it's going to run is in 15 minutes time. And it will continue to happen. If you have it set to five minutes, it will tell you right up here that it's going to be running every five minutes. And the next time is in five minutes time. And it will change that time up here. So that's basically it. That's basically how uh, you can automate uh, your programs to run uh, using the task scheduler very very simple and easy to do if you've got a batch file that you want to run maybe you want to have a little clean batch file running it will run automatically by using this method if you want to see that video let me know in the comments section below i'll be happy to make that video using a batch file to run in task scheduler for you anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a big shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support just want to give a special shout out to my tier three YouTube members, uh, Gary Belts, also Albert Houston, and also Welsh Tony One and Geo Sam. I really do appreciate the support, you guys. You are awesome, and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.